a service for Ascension Day. We begin our acts of worship by lighting a candle as a symbol of the Paschal candle, which remains lit throughout the Easter season, representing the light of Christ. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left his earth and returned to his father ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly let your loving rule, let us hear the story of his parting. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power 
when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him praise worthy of his name. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord who is our refuge and stronghold. 
for the health and well-being of all people, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the dying, for those who mourn, and for those who have died, whom we entrust to you in hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all whom, for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem for the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers.
we wait expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we listen to your word, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we long for your renewing, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming Spirit. As we long for your empowering, make us ready for your coming Spirit. Amen.